right, we are back with another episode of Biz Minds, and we are with Natea. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, of course, of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, Natea is the owner of the Collective Chiropractic Center. And um, Natea, tell us a little bit about yourself, um, how long you've been in the Southwest Florida area, and what made you move to the Southwest Florida area? Very good question. So I am pretty much brand new to Naples. We moved here one week before the hurricane, so we had quite the um, entrance. <laughs> yeah. Um, we decided to move to Florida. Um, I'm from Washington State, and my husband now is was from Wisconsin, and he didn't want to move to Washington, and I did not want to move to Wisconsin. <laughs> so we compromised with Florida. We decided on Florida because... Um, really the freedom here. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really something that drew us here. We're comfortable having a family in Florida. So um, we came to Naples. We knew some friends here. And like most people that come to Naples, you just fall in love with it. It's so beautiful. Everyone that we met was so kind. So it really just felt like somewhere we could build um, a home. Right. Yeah. So we love it so far. And Mike is great. Yes. I met with Mike not long ago. Uh, mm -hmm. That. I think somebody reached out, and then when somebody reached out, it was Joey. Yeah. Joey reached yeah, out. Could be <laughs> I was like, oh, I know Mike. We got to have him on. So we're definitely going to have Mike on. For sure. Um, and Joey had a question prior to going live. Yes. What was your um, question? Why the collective? The name? The collective. So I really want to create community um, within my office. I serve families. So um, the collective chiropractic is chiropractic for the collective in the community so about children as well yeah yeah okay what's the benefits of of having like doing chiropractic how do you say chiropractic, chiropractic. services <laughs> <laughs> children yeah that's a really great question i get it a lot um so we focus on the nervous system function so how the brain and body is communicating um it is controlling and coordinating all functions of our system so when we have any interferences within our nervous system, um, not only can we have pain, but we can also have um, different um, digestive issues. You can have sleeping issues. Um, you can have things like um, ADHD. So these are all things that we see in our office. Um, a lot of times with babies, we'll have um, latching issues or they're just not able to get comfortable. So working with their nervous system um, calms their system and is able to get everything communicating properly. Mm, right. Interesting. So they have to have some kind of problem to go or is good also for just like a routine? Yeah, that's a good kids. question. So we see both. Um, I see a lot of, um, well, I see a lot of pregnant women, so they will bring in baby, um, after delivery because even yes. though, you know, delivery is natural and normal, mm -hmm. but it can be quite rough, um, on a baby's, um, upper neck on their whole system. So we just want to make sure that everything is connected and talking and working like it should yeah. so that we don't get any of those, um, issues down the line. Um, and then I do see people after they've had issues for a while and, and we work on that as well. So I really like to promote wellness first, um, mm -hmm. because it's a lot easier, um, when we're proactive about our health than, you know, when we're already experiencing symptoms. But of course yeah. you mm -hmm. do do both. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. That's great. And, um, so how are they, what's the youngest like is it is it babies? Yeah, brand new, babies. brand new. Wow. Yeah, you do yeah. newborns, newborns. Yeah. Wow. So I'll see newborns up. <laughs> yeah, to I didn't know how to say to that. Grandparents, babies. <laughs> what kind of like like new babies? The new, the new ones that just came. The new babies or <laughs> yeah, the ones that've been here a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So well, I mean, I'll see a lot of babies that have like breastfeeding <clears throat> issues a lot of times. So obviously, that's something that's very important. We need to get that handled right away. Mm -hmm. And I've heard also that sometimes babies come out with like hip problems being so little that yeah, happened so, to one of my nieces I think that's when they pull them out right or I don't know something the, like that depending on how they, <laughs> yeah. how they pull them out <laughs> <laughs> yeah so some can have like hip dysplasia yeah. things like that so mm -hmm. um, we've taken care of that before as well so mm -hmm. yeah well, how, how did you uh, get into the uh, Cairo 
chiropractor. chiropractor. Yes. <laughs> so my dad is a chiropractor. Oh. <laughs> yes. So I've been adjusted since birth. Um, grew up, you know, with chiropractic really as my main form of healthcare. Mm-hmm. So it's just been natural for me. And I saw, you know, the differences between the way I was growing up and the health of my family and, and my, myself versus people who, you know, are in more maybe a medical model and not really um, taking care of uh, health in that way. So I really wanted to provide that for families in my community. Mm-hmm. And there's different, um, <clears throat> there's different like verticals, right? Because yeah. as a chiropractor, as a chiropractor, um, <laughs> nobody can say that. <laughs> <laughs> no one like wants to say that. <laughs> as a chiropractor, you yeah. can. Um, like, you know, those videos that trend of yeah. like adjustments. Yeah. Um, is that something that you guys do or no, no, no. Okay. So there's lots of different techniques. What, that's a different technique. Yeah. So okay. there are, um, you know, very, um, hands-on like big pops, big twists. That's mm-hmm. a lot of the things that you might see on YouTube. Right. Right. Um, and then there's really gentle techniques. Um, there's some techniques that are really just looking for motion within the spine. And there are some techniques that are more based on nervous system function. Mm -hmm. So ours is based on nervous system function. I'm not just trying to get everything to move. I'm trying to actually get your brain and body connected and talking properly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's just, oops, Mm -hmm. there's different, um, like studies or, of, Te- or are you, techniques. are you techniques, techniques. but so that's when what's you going to my s- mind around is exactly <laughs> what you do. That's different. Like besides just cracking backs, you know, well, that's not what you got. That's not that's technically literally what, what you they do. don't do. Right. So we're actually, um, we're still what you would call adjusting. So Mm -hmm. it's going to be very lighter, light contacts along the spine, um, in areas that are, um, energy rich within the nerves in that area to light up the brain, to start to communicate better with that area, if that makes sense. So we're actually, um, just unwinding tension patterns within the whole spine, Um, it's called like a tonal technique. So Mm -hmm. we're looking at it globally versus maybe just like a segment out of place that you're trying to put back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. And how long have you been in business? I have been a chiropractor almost 10 years, 10 years. Yes. Wow. Yeah. You said originally from, uh, California, Washington state. And then I went to school in California. You went to school in California. Okay. Yeah. What's, what's been some things that you've learned along the way being a business owner because right. it's you know one thing to be a chiropractor yeah. and another thing to be a business owner right so what do you think are some things that you've learned along the way i mean honestly a lot because no one at least that i know goes to chiropractic school um to be a business owner mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying we mm-hmm. get into chiropractic because it changed our lives and we want to you know do that provide that service um to others and you don't realize oh i actually have to run a business and mm-hmm. i need to be a, an entrepreneur as well right. so that is a whole nother field so you're going to school to learn to be a chiropractor learn to provide this service and then you're like Oh, okay. You get out in the real world and you're like, Oh, I actually need to know how to run a business. So learning that has been, um, a process for sure. Mm -hmm. So you don't get a lot of business training in school. So you have to um, seek that elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So I've had a lot of business training outside of, um, chiropractic school. Um, and it's just, it's like any business you're learning as you go and right. you see what works for you and what doesn't. And right. it's, it's a ride. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> Is it different from Washington, like here in Naples, the clientele and the business itself? Um, it's similar. I would say, honestly, I just love the people in Naples. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised like how... Is Washington like family wonderful. oriented? Um, like Naples? Because Naples yes, is. Yes. So... Um, I definitely find it more com- like more community is here. Yeah. I, f- yeah. I feel like once you, sure. I mean, it's, it's different being new to a community, but once you kind of meet people, they mm-hmm. just like kind of just invite you right in and then you meet more and more and more. And then you feel like you have a community, mm-hmm. even though, you know, you've only been here a short time. So once you're, um, once you're done with school, right. Mm-hmm. So, and now you have to go into the real world. Yes. 
what's what's the next step for a chiropractor like <clears throat> if they want to go into business right so what what, what was um how was your start How's my start? Yeah. Okay. So when you get out of school, you have a few options. You can be an associate going to work for someone else, mm -hmm. or you can open your own practice. Um, so I went into business it, kind of in a way, an independent contractor where you are in someone else's office, but you're running your own business. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're essentially just renting their space and their equipment. Um, so that's kind of how I started out. Um, didn't really know what I was doing, uh, joined a BNI, <laughs> you know, and you just kind of learn as you go and people help you out and you get things rolling. Um, what's a BNI? Oh, um, uh, business networking <laughs> international. Okay. It's called. Got there it. we uh, go. <laughs> okay. No, yeah. cause I laughed, but then You're somebody like, told me the other day, don't just like act Let it like go you by. know, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know what it means. I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah, so essentially it's just like a networking. Group. Okay, got yeah. it, got it, got it. What you didn't know? <laughs> so, uh, so who knew here? I, I knew it I had to be a networking I group. I, I, just, I knew it was I, I thought it was something to do with business. Okay. Right. Then the other words I didn't know what they were. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So um yeah, it's interesting because it's just like anything else you really you you go to school and study for you because right. you can either go and work for somebody else or open up your own thing. Yeah. But obviously the opening up your own thing is a lot harder, right? At the beginning, especially. Oh, yeah. Right? I would say I, I kind of hit the middle ground where it's like yeah. you're opening up, but you're in someone else's office and someone mm -hmm. else's space. So you have, you can kind of learn the, the yes. system a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's kind of like the middle ground. Um, if I was doing it over, I probably would find an office that I wanted to eventually emulate, mm -hmm. go work for them, get yeah. it all figured out. You don't have to stress about overhead. You just have to really learn, I mean, truly how to be a doctor. Right. And then the business stuff you learn as you go right. versus trying to be a doctor in the real world and also trying to run a business. It's It can be a lot. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. And I, and I think in your case, you have to, um, you have to start with a team, right? Like in the sense of at least two, three people, maybe someone that like a schedules or, or you're the one scheduling patients. Uh. So right now I am a one woman show. Okay. And, um, you can do it. You can start with a team as well, but mm -hmm. honestly, I really, I like the interaction mm -hmm. that I'm having with my clients and, a, you know, someone who's answering the phone can't always give the correct information, information, can't always, um, make that connection for them. So just as I'm starting out, um, I like to have all that, all I think that that's connection. Great. Yeah. I think that's great. Yeah. It's, um, it's not usual to have your doctor or, you know, call you and tell you, you know, right. what. Yeah. You I mean, I think, I think that you right. never can. I think that's a plus for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In scale, of course, <laughs> yes. you have to have a team in scale, right. but at the beginning. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right? Um, is that, what's the goal? What's the future goals look like? Yeah. For, Absolutely. So as we're, we're definitely growing. And so we're, I'm getting to that point where I'm thinking, okay, I do want to start looking for someone to bring on. Mm -hmm. Um, and I mean another doctor. Um, and when I hit that point, I'd like to, then we'll get, um, someone running the front desk scheduling, all that stuff. And, um, at that point, then, uh, Dr. Mike and I are looking to start a family. So mm -hmm. I'll be not fully stepping back, but stepping back a little bit. Um, as as that part of our life right. grows yeah so it's and you don't plan to partner up with mike and have well you guys one. kind of yeah it's it's like one but it's separate yes it's one but it's separate so we're in the same space like we're his patients see my patients we see okay. each other it's like we have the same community space it's the same office it's the same office it just has it, Two different LLCs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It's just, Very nice office. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Well, I think that's um that's another way to do it, right? Um when both are doing the same the same thing, but a little different, right? Everybody has their own style and um um but but why? <laughs> but why? Why are we but, separate? Yeah, like I, because we do yeah. something similar here. Yeah, and we focus yeah, on we can go things. on and on. And it's why a valid we do question. It. Yeah. So 
mostly because we he we both had our own practices prior to this. Mm-hmm. So okay. we were actually planning on opening separate practices, yes, but right. we thought, you know, looking at spaces, we fell in love with this space. We really wanted community space. So our office is rather large. Um, so we're splitting that and it's, we do have two separate ways of doing things. So it's kind of like, you know, we want to keep that separate. He gets to run his business. I get to run my business and we also get to share the space and be together. So it's really like the best way for us to do it. Yeah. We could, we combine it's a possibility, but right now it's just, it works great for, Mm -hmm. for us and for our marriage and he gets to do him. I, right. tell him yeah. I come to your office and I tell you, okay, I've been having headaches or yeah. this and that. If it's not something that you would do, you were right. Yeah. For me to him, which is another great thing is, you know, not every style is good for everybody and yeah. not, you know, so there's different personalities, there's different issues. His technique might be better for something than my technique. And mm-hmm. in that case, I would hand someone over to him. And even, you know, if something's, someone's not a good fit for either of us, we have no problem sending them. We have another friend um, that practices here in Naples and we send them to him. You know, yeah. we're really making yeah. sure everyone's in the right place and the best fit for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think it's, um, I think it's a, like a great topic to touch because a lot of people start businesses with family. Mm-hmm. And um, when you start a business with your partner, you know, yeah. it's, um, you have to kind of, um, like learn how to navigate, you know, yeah. and unless someone is the one that's leading, but if the two of you are, you know, kind of have, have your own ideas <laughs> and, and that's where I was coming from, from the beginning with the question. Yeah. Uh, but because, it seems like they're both leaders. Yeah. Because yeah, you're you didn't want to go to him. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to go to you. So you what do you recommend uh, for people that want to go into business with their uh, partner? How does that dynamic look, and uh, what are what is some advice on how to keep it on the positive side? Yeah, that's a great question. <laughs> so. I'm going to start out. My parents work together and I vowed I would never work with my spouse (laughs) just because I saw, you know, some dynamics. It truly does not work and it just causes stress on your business and Mm -hmm. it causes stress on your marriage. Um, So that's another reason why we were separate but together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For Mike and I, we actually work really well together. Um, He's very easy to work with. Um, So... It, it actually works well for us. I wouldn't have no problem combining our practices because we work so well together, but it's still great that we're separate because he's very <laughs> like systematized and has like, is very um, structured where I of course have a structure, but I'm very m- much more lenient, more lenient, more flowy. Um, so our styles are definitely different. So mm-hmm. I'm not sure exactly how it would work out if we combined, but mm-hmm. it, 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 the way it is, it's, it's, it's great. It it's great. Yeah. So I would say it really depends on the couple and your strengths and knowing how to work together. Yeah. Okay. And hats off to you guys because I think it's one of the hardest things to do. Not, not, not because yeah. it's like the person, but because it's just out of the norm, right? right. Like usually you don't see the person that you're with or family <laughs> All the time. What happens? It's just, just, just sounds like moving no, like no, this. No, like, stretching you. She no, said, no. Do you have something to say? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not yeah, saying because it's hard, like, but what I'm saying is because it's well, the uh, four of us are family. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. But, <laughs> but for the most part, it's not the normal thing to see somebody every minute of every right. day, right? Yeah. It, it's not the norm. So it, I feel like it takes a lot. It takes your communication level to like another level, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did I say that right? Yeah. yeah I don't, I don't yeah, even know absolutely. what I said right there. But yeah, it takes your communication <laughs> to like another level because... Um, everything to another level. Everything, really. Yeah. Because you're seeing that person at every minute. So. All day. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not in that way. So, uh, <laughs> what is your advice? I had a valid point. <laughs> I mean, we, like, we uh, been in business for many years. Yeah. Uh, and we've been in business together. So... It kind of like got used to see their faces now. Um, <laughs> so, um, but we we all have different uh, opinions at all times. But we don't use it in a negative way. Right. We use it in, uh, as, a, as something positive because th- yes, there should be one person that's usually leading. But when you have more people that are um, 
looking at the business towards the same goal, I think it just adds up, you know? I so, agree. Yeah. yeah. If you have the same goal in mind and everyone respects um, their strengths and also respects like when you, maybe that's not my strength and I'll, right. mm-hmm. I'll, I'll let you lead on that. Yeah. Right. I think yeah. that really makes all the, the difference. But when it's family, you also know that no one's going to have your back like your family, right? And exactly. no one's yeah. going to want the best like your family. So mm-hmm. it's just yeah. one of those. And, and and we all have different ways of communicating. You yeah. Know? Like we're very... I'll talk for myself. Like I'm very direct <laughs> when I say things. Yeah. But uh, but it's always in 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 a good way, you know, like for our best. Right. So um, and yeah, we all say things different, right? Yeah. Uh, I think it's a it's a it's a good way to um, to to learn about you know the people that are that you're working with, especially when they're family. Um, so yeah, I think we do pretty well. So far, <laughs> looks like you guys so are doing far. great. <laughs> yeah, but can you? Shay had a question. What? Shay, had a question. Get in there. We Joey had a question. Oh, um, can you can you tell me? Do you come? <clears throat> this is gonna be straight up. Oh, yes, question. get in there. Do you come from a family with money, or you come from? The reason why I'm asking this this is because there's to me there's two ways to open a business, and there is a way to pretty much bootstrap the whole thing or sometimes you have the help financially right which makes the path completely different you know if you of course hit you know learning business and uh, but but it does help a lot so mm-hmm. um and also the vehicle the, the the bit the type of business that you're opening so what will you say um was it easy for you in that sense um, no, I mean, I didn't get any financial help from my family, if that's what the question is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, no, yeah, I mean, my parents have always been super support- supportive, but it's also kind of like, you got this, you're a grown up, go get it. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, I know it's a weird question, but no. <laughs> it's, <laughs> but it's always, uh, I think it makes a difference because a lot of people want to open businesses, but they see the the nicest part of a business, right? Like the, right. the they see the movie, but they don't see the behind the scenes. It it can be rough, and even you know, even though we had come from open businesses prior to this, opening mm-hmm. a new business in a brand new city, um, it's still it's still rough. There's still those nights where you're like did I make the right decision? Mm-hmm. What was I thinking opening mm-hmm. another office? Cause you know, with chiropractic, you build in that place that you are in mm-hmm. that community. And when you leave it, you leave you're, empty yeah. handed again. Yeah. I mean, not empty handed, but you're but you not, have to start with right. You're, yeah. you're starting from scratch. No mm-hmm. one knows your name. No mm-hmm. one knows who you are. And we build our off or our business from referrals mm-hmm. really. Mm-hmm. Um, because that's the best way, um, as a chiropractic office is like having word of mouth, people who have had your care, um, have had great results and they're saying, Hey, go to this person. That person already knows you're going to do a great job for them. So that's really how I've always built my business. And so starting from scratch, you know, it yeah. takes work. Oh, it yeah. takes work. hundred yeah, percent. Do you go to any networking events to promote yourself and your business? Yeah, so we've definitely gotten out in the community, um, been to some networking events. Um, we're in the Scout Guide. Um, we go to some, to some of uh, like Naples Lifestyle Magazine events. Um, we really like to meet people in, in yeah. the community. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I actually network with a lot of like um, uh, birth work um, mm-hmm. professionals, so midwives, doulas, um, breastfeeding help as well. So. That's a big part of um, my network. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's great. Um, so you guys, are you doing anything on, uh, like, I see, well, Mike does a lot on digital. I see Mike mm-hmm. a lot on digital. I think that's, like, <laughs> He's one great. of the best ways to um, market yeah in today's today's time do you see a lot of traction coming through from digital yeah actually um i have i get a lot of my uh patients from instagram actually yeah (laughs) so as much as i'm not i don't think i'm very great at it um but you know you got to put yourself out there you got to um 
put yourself in front of your clients and where they're at and they're right. on social media a lot of the day. So mm-hmm. you gotta, you gotta put the information out there. And I know it's like information overload, but that's kind of like how our generation is learning. Yeah. Um, that's really like, I don't, that's how they find their chiropractor. That's how they find yeah. um, their hairdresser. That's how they find, you know, everything. So right. you kind of gotta, gotta do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And I think quantity, especially at the beginning is the best thing. Like not overthinking and just putting out content as much content as you could, right? Because sometimes you over, sometimes well not sometimes <laughs> most you people, overthink. I <laughs> overthink it. I have like five <laughs> posts a month, maybe that would be like a great month for me. But yeah. I'm more quality. You know, like if someone's looking for a prenatal chiropractor, they're gonna find me. Yeah. So on on Instagram, so I maybe I don't have as much. Um, competition on on instagram because there's not a lot of prenatal mm-hmm. chiropractors in this area there's not a lot of pediatric chiropractors in this area so luckily for me i don't have to post every day <laughs> right 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 and um what do you guys because you've been in naples for how long exactly right now um almost a year almost, almost a year, year. yeah okay. hurricane yep and did the Naples. hurricane affect your business, your office? No, I mean we got very lucky because um, you're close to the beach, right? Aren't you on Forty One? Yeah, we're on, we're yeah 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 we're they're close. One, but because there were some businesses on Forty One that got flooded. Yeah, yeah, but they're on side. the second floor. Oh, you're yeah, on the second. We floor. are on the second oh, floor. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> Joey's smart. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know it would be such a benefit for yeah. us on the second floor, so we're thanking our angels for that one. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Are you um are you liking it here in Naples? I really honestly I fall in love with it more um as I go cuz it's mm-hmm. it's kind of like when you get here it's so beautiful and mm-hmm. it's so great but then you're kind of like okay well how do I where do I go where do I, I meet people <laughs> Exactly and the more people I meet um they're just very like genuine and um so easy to get in they're connection nice. with yeah get in connection with like yeah, people are nice here. Yeah, truly nice. <laughs> no, nice. seriously, it sounds like, you know, but that's the first time I told my brother when I moved here eight years ago was because we uh, grew up in, like, Miami area. Mm-hmm. And just here, like, everybody's just chill and nice. You know, some others, like Miami or Broward, it, like, it feels like people are on the defensive, you know, like. Yeah. So it's a completely, and it's, it's crazy because it's only an hour and a half away or, or two hours away, mm-hmm. but just the, the difference in cities, you know, and people is, is crazy. Um, but it's definitely a place where there's a lot of, um, it's growing and there's so much opportunity for everybody, I feel. So it's a yeah. great place to start a business, have a family, raise a family. Yeah. Um, we're going to cut that part out so that. So that nobody else comes to Naples. I know. <laughs> I'm like, after we got here, I'm no excited. one else is allowed. It's to horrible. Come. It's horrible. <laughs> People are rude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Traffic is horrible. Well, that's, well, that's true. Well, it's that's getting true. busier, though. Yeah. It's getting yeah. busier. Uh, and you, you get- plan to start a, biz- uh, a business. You plan to s- start a family. Yep. Yep. Probably in the next year here, we'll be adding one more. So oh. one more. Oh you yeah. One, have. Or, or What's right? Oh, one more to your family. One more. No, 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 no okay. Child. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. One more. They have a dog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Are you looking to have a boy or girl? Or um, it doesn't matter. Both eventually. Okay. I I don't mind which one comes first. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Are you? Mentally preparing. <laughs> um, I take care of women that are pregnant, so there is no preparation for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. I mean, there is a level of preparation, but no one's truly um, ready, right. ready for all of that. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> so I was curious, um, does it take a lot of money to like start? Like, Do you need a lot of equipment or... How does that work as a chiropractor? Yeah, so it kind of depends on your technique. So some people um, need x-ray for the technique, so you're going to have to put that put that in your office. Um, just different equipment for different techniques. It, I'm like, how much does it cost? It costs a lot. <laughs> it does. Yeah, I yeah. was curious. I mean, you can't – there's many different ways to do it, right? So some people can actually just start with their hands in a table and yeah, that's what a I was room. Imagining. And some people start with a lot of equipment, x-rays, um, different things. So 
I always say just start out small and build. Mm -hmm. Um, Because there's so much technology out there. So it's like, what do you really need? You don't, so really like to start, it's just like you and a table. Right. You you can 100% get you a table and a room and you could start. So there's- Good hands. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And good hands. Good hands. Mm -hmm. Yep. For sure. Do you like um, the actual practice of the- um, of the work more than the business side now or you know how does that look because you can scale right? yeah if you want it like eventually like it mm-hmm. could be a goal to continue to scale mm-hmm. um but when you scale you had to step out even more right right so what are your thoughts about that um i like practicing um chiropractic more than the business aspect okay Um, but the more that I run my business the way I want to versus the way other people have done it before me or coaches tell me to do it, um, the more I like the business aspect too. Okay. Wait, but the way that, that you run it your way instead of how other people have yeah because there's okay. lots i mean there is a lot a of million ways, different ways right yeah. there's a million different ways to run a business um there's a million different ways that you'll get told what you should and shouldn't do mm-hmm. um and so there is that balance of like not reinventing the wheel and, and right. doing it but there's also that balance of like finding what actually works for you and what comes across like genuine and heartfelt and in alignment with how you want to show up right so you try different business um i don't know i don't want to call it a technique but you try different business strategies Mm -hmm. on and it might not work for you even though it worked for somebody else great for someone else because Mm -hmm. it's just not in alignment for your style right so finding that balance is is super important yeah and um in your business are you like the demographic matters too a lot, right? Like where yeah. where you're at for different business uh, strategies. Um, are you? Uh, damn, I lost where I was going. Completely. <laughs> <laughs> like completely. Somebody else take another question. I, lost where I, was going. Well, I mean, I will say, people. You know, when I told them, oh, I'm moving to Florida and I'm moving to Naples and I serve prenatal and pediatric, mm-hmm. I got a lot of, what do you? Why are you moving to Naples then? then you know, there's yeah. just- I was just thinking, do you have a lot of, cause I know there's like, we're growing. Naples yeah. is getting so busy, but are there a lot of pregnant women? Yeah. <laughs> my, my office is full of them. They, everybody's um, getting pregnant. Everyone's getting pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's the age or that. I know everyone's around, getting pregnant like younger and younger, lost. but yeah. And I, I think more families are moving here and mm-hmm. so they, they need that support as well, but it, it's working out. <laughs> That's great. Um, was so what you're doing? Was it what you expected? Like when you were going to school and then you got out, and then you know because you know how people <laughs> always say like, oh yes, I want to be this, I want to be that. But then once they do it and they keep doing it, and it's been like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years <laughs> doing yeah. it, they're like, okay, well, <clears throat> do I? Um, do you think that's the reason why you start liking the business aspect of what you're doing more or because you just, I don't know. I, I love being a chiropractor. I knew what I was getting into. Obviously my dad was a chiropractor, so I experienced it firsthand. I was, you know, grew up in his office. I was always getting adjusted. So I know, I knew kind of what to expect, Mm -hmm. um, going through it. Of course, there's those times you're like, was this the right decision? But I absolutely love what I do. It's so fulfilling and satisfying. And, um, you know, I do have the opportunity to bring other chiropractors in and, you know, step away for family or whatever it might be. And then I can step back in. So it's kind of, there's multiple opportunities with it because you can also, you know, if you aren't wanting to continue practicing, then you can, you know, get other people in there and just run the business aspect. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. luckily, luckily it's, there's dynamic Do options. Do you think um, because your father was a chiropractor that led you to be that as well, or it would have changed if he wasn't one and you would have done something else? Well, my dad never said anything about becoming a chiropractor. He never said a word to us. Never um, pressured you. Never <laughs> pressured me. I never 
thought I was going to become a chiropractor and I was in college and I came home one summer and was working for him. And it's funny because when you're when you grow up in it, you don't really realize like what an impact it makes because it's just Mm -hmm. normal for you. But when I was seeing the people that would come in and how they were leaving, it was like, that is a brand new person. Like the, Mm -hmm. it's making such big impact. And I was like, okay, I have to do that. And so that's, you know, when I decided to become a chiropractor, Mm -hmm. but if my dad wasn't, I I probably would not be. Did he study the same, the same type of technique that you're doing now? Um, so when I first started, I did the same technique as him just because that was Mm -hmm. what you knew, what I knew. And what was that? What was that technique? Um, it's called best bioenergetic synchronization technique. Um, so I don't know that one. (laughs) You don't know that one? You should really uh, study all your chiropractic techniques. There's like 200 of them. But Uh, what's the, like the back cracking technique? So there's, you know, like the, <laughs> there's you know, really that, 200 of them. That's probably yeah. the same there's like, sun. That's probably there's like such 200 a bad, uh, There's lots. There's asked. lots of different ones that you know, like are one like that, traditional chiropractic. Mm-hmm. You're like the popping and twisting. There's yeah. there's a lot of them. Yeah. Okay. So the one that you do there, like exorcism. <laughs> the head just turned. I uh, I will say I love all chiropractic techniques. They're all great and they're all um all of them serve different people for different mm. reasons. It's actually really interesting that there's that many yeah. different yeah. techniques. So when you go to school, you kind of, you get to just, do you learn a little bit about every single one or do you just yeah. choose? So in school, there's like a core kind of curriculum and then, um, you go to seminars and different trainings to get different techniques. Mm-hmm. So it kind of just depends, um, on what you're uh, looking for. Some, some people go in knowing what they want to do. Some people go in having no idea. So kind of, kind of check them all out and then right. see what makes mm-hmm. the most sense for you. Okay. Yeah. That's really interesting. I definitely did not know that there yeah, were that many. I thought they were all the same. Yeah. I had, I had <laughs> actually, crazy. it was only one. Yeah. <laughs> I went to a chiropractor, um, a, a while ago mm-hmm. when I was probably like 15, 15 i think and i actually told mike this story i went in and uh he showed me like uh like a skeleton (laughs) graph type of thing but he can pull it and he kind of can show you like how your back is okay you know you were all crooked like you know you know it's kind of like some i don't know like some type of like it's like showing um, you where your like misalignments maybe yeah so he can move it a little bit and it'll move like the spine okay um (laughs) he showed him like he had straight scoliosis and he got scared oh yeah like it was like he's like sorry like this yeah 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 (laughs) it was like this Uh, i left and i was like there's no way my back could be like that. I could just imagine him coming home. Do I really stand like this? But I went to which one is I went I went to uh get get an MRI done uh-huh. and um, they didn't say they said I had no scoliosis. But he um, was like he was like, Yeah, it's like super bad. Right. So it kinda like traumatized me a little bit. I was like, Oh my god. <laughs> so I mean to have actual scoliosis you have to have like a certain degree off. So, and he might have not have been, um, saying like you have scoliosis, he might've been just showing you where he found the misalignments within your spine. Mm. And so that's, you're just looking at something differently than if you were go get an MRI, they're not looking at those slight, um, misalignments within your spine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely like the way that you guys, um, run both businesses because, um, after talking a lot, uh, with Mike during that consultation, you focus more on the nervous system, right? Yeah. As does Mike. Mike, Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like that, and he, he said a lot of things that I really liked that, um, that if, if, if that client isn't like for you guys, you guys like, will let them know, no, you know, go work with somebody else when it comes to that. For sure. Yeah. Because I mean, our goal is to get them healthy and get them, um, where they want to be. And if we're not the best for them, then we have no problem sending them somewhere else. Um, mm. yeah. Do you, cause some people are looking for that big old crack, crack. and we're not <laughs> the spot for that, you know? So yeah. that's totally fine. Right. Would you say that the way that you guys practice is is more for long term as opposed to, you know, like somebody going and getting an adjustment right away? That sounds like it's more short term, but 
maybe I could be honestly wrong. it really depends on again the the chiropractor that you're seeing I'm not gonna say ours is versus someone else's but yes ours is definitely um, geared toward long term so my care plans are six months mm -hmm. um, minimum simply because we're looking to make a substantial change mm -hmm. in your mm -hmm. Um, health and your nervous system and it's not going to happen overnight right um so we want to actually make that change and get stability within your system we're not looking to put a band-aid on anything we want to fix the problem right yeah yeah mm -hmm. absolutely is that um so you don't crack any anybody's like bag <laughs> <laughs> right you don't crack anybody <laughs> um is it's like very, why like, very gentle adjusting gentle adjusting. Oh, yeah so okay. yeah our technique is called the tonal technique so we're just looking at the tone of the entire spine and nervous system mm -hmm. versus um just like segmentally so one vertebrae out of alignment we're looking at the entire spine as one okay unit. Well, I see. yeah because then you have to put them like in a like sometimes like in, in a <laughs> like weird a position, posture. right? Yeah, and there's then, there's that. Yeah, I've seen those uh, TikTok videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know. Those yeah, things trend, you know? So that, I feel like that's what makes The crack people... gets the attention, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And if you don't really know about it, right? Like look at all that information that you're disclosing about your business. Like all people I knew was, that. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You just about. see what, what trends, you know, which is the... Like people get in their back crack. So like everybody <laughs> thinks, oh, that's car. That's what be the car. And then they yeah, start getting for like, sure. in even like super weird positions. Like now someone is, is, is like on top like this. And, <laughs> yeah. I so I don't real. know if it's part of the. Uh, oh yeah. Cause sometimes know, you or? think, okay, no matter what you go to this place, you don't, people don't know that there's so many different right. techniques. Yeah. So you should really actually look like at the website, at their information. Does that resonate with you? Is that in alignment with what you want? Cause because you know, there still is like philosophy behind of it. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that they're, you're, they're meeting what you are desiring, what you really want. Mm -hmm. What are some, what's some advice that you can give somebody that, uh, wants to go and have their, uh, own business in this industry <laughs> and that, maybe some things that they can avoid like little hurdles you know uh along the way that maybe if you if you think back oh maybe i could have done that a little differently or yeah what, what's some so i would give the advice if you're starting out on your own to get a business coach um one that aligns with um what you want and i would get a business coach that has actually had what you want or has what you want um that way they can guide you through those things and you don't have to make those big mistakes that cost a lot more than just getting the guidance and the advice, um, in the first place. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That way you can like save years, right? Right. Um, Cause yeah. some, some, sometimes little advice can, it can change everything. Save you years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is the business model like, subscription based um, membership for the business side of so, what you do yeah so my i do have a membership style practice membership. yeah mm -hmm. so just depending on um what kind of care is needed there's different levels mm -hmm. um just because i prefer to to make it easy yeah <laughs> and your six month it's six month plans right? yeah mm -hmm. do you see uh your business like with franchisees or that direction no, or multiple no. locations. I'm not trying to eventually. do all that. No. <laughs> That's not for me. <laughs> That's well, it's awesome that, that you say that. Cause I think sometimes, you know, like the trendy thing is get into business and scale, 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 but sometimes yeah. it's really not necessary at all. I think one is a yeah. lot. And mm -hmm. like as cheesy as it is, is like, I didn't get into chiropractic for the business. Of course I need to make money, but I really got into it because I know what a difference it makes in people's lives and I'm really passionate about it. Mm -hmm. Um, and running a franchise sounds awful to me. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Everything is more like, that's when, that's when that it really becomes business. That's business. business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's real business. Yeah. 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 And everything is different. You know, you got to change systems. You got to, you have to, um, it's more commercial. It's more commercial. commercialized, yeah. I feel. Exactly. And I feel like although it can make things efficient and in, in business, it's hard when it's something that, 
I don't know. It's like people's lives. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I don't want to. Like, right now, it's more personalized. Yeah, it is. Pers- it is personalized, and you know, I create real relationships with all my yeah. my clients, my members. Right. Right. So, yeah. This awesome. Is, nice. This one is a. I don't know. It's an extremely weird question, but do you <laughs> think, what, do you, what do you think? Yeah, because the last one kind of got me. Like, <laughs> no, it's because like, he has like three questions in one question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what do you think about medicine? Um, you know how <laughs> your questions are really. <laughs> no, yeah, like I'm, I'm excited I'm, for this. I'm one. just trying to word I it right so that I, it doesn't sound weird, but right. there's no way to not sound weird. <laughs> Just, um, just bring it. Yeah, just so, throw it out there. You know how um, the hospitals are owned by people that are not doctors. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that? Like being in, you know how you said something. I really, I'm really passionate about what I do, uh, and I love what I do. Yeah, and that's the reason why I don't want to open a hundred locations, right? right? Because that's going to take away a little bit of that. So what do you think about someone that's never been a doctor, just all business, owning a hospital? Do you, don't you think that's a little yeah. scary? It's very scary. And quite honestly, it I feel bad for the doctors who have to work in those environments because it's like their hands are tied to certain regulations and rules of how exactly you have to do this. And it's not really about patient maybe what's best for the patient, but it's about, oh, I actually can't do this because my hands are tied. And, you know, I know a lot of doctors who um, aren't able to make the best decisions for their clients or their patients because, you know, their hands are tied. So I don't really, it's hard when health and business mixes um, and when profits are the number one, you know, yeah. But that's the like, number one goal, right? Yeah. So it's like that's huge right now. Obviously, for for a, for the longest, but yeah, I yeah. mean, it's it's scary, and I mean, if you really look at our medical system, it's not yeah. it's not great, yeah. right? I yeah, mean, it's built our on brother-in-law business. just graduated, so he did like ten years <clears throat> um, in you know studying medicine, mm-hmm. and he's going to be a he 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 is an orthopedic surgeon, but yeah. he's going to be doing his first actual year yeah. here in Naples, and you know he's been studying for so long yeah. and they gave him like a crazy contract and then they, they like kind of did something way better. And he was like, man, I can't believe they gave me that type of contract. And we were telling him like, yeah, you're in business now. <laughs> yeah. because, you're not like, a doctor anymore. <laughs> right. It's like his first year and we're telling him, no, you're in business. Now. Right. Yeah. But, Cause you go and I mean, anyone who becomes a, any type of doctor, they're, you know, mostly are trying to do it to, for good. Right. They want to help people. That's mm-hmm. why, people go into it and then yeah. when you throw yeah he's super passionate big about business yeah. in there yeah. it can it's get, a crazy system right i mean and then you throw insurance and then it oh, really yeah. gets wild and oh, yeah they should really make it like one more a requirement to, to like take a business class with your classes because it's, <laughs> I mean, it's they throw you to the wolves we really. had a business <laughs> class but <laughs> It's not that way. And and trust me, when you're in school, like you're working so hard, you you don't have the mind to even, you're like business, I'll handle that later. Like I need to learn how to adjust. I need to learn how to manage. I need to learn how to, you know, all this physiology, anatomy. Yeah. You're like business. I don't care about business. Yeah. And it's scary. I mean, it's scary if you take a business class with a teacher that never had a business. Before. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's exactly what we were doing. Yeah. 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 So um, it, what are your thoughts? What, what are your thoughts on uh, school in general? Should, do people have to go to school to be successful? Um, I think only if it's like something that you have to go to school for. Like, obviously, I have to go to school to be a chiropractor, but mm-hmm. I do not think you necessarily have to go to school to be successful. There's so many opportunities mm-hmm. um, for entrepreneurship now and so many different ways um, of going about it that I don't necessarily think you have to go to school to be successful. Right. And do you think that, like, w- when you guys have family and, and kids, um, is is college something that you'll push, like, you know, recommend, hey, you know, go to college? Or is it more like, what do you want to do? And That's a good question. Because that is a good question. Before, you know, our parents would be like, that's the only way. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, if you that's have to go rule. to school, especially, like, if you're, you know, coming to the States from another country. Yeah. The Are you, are you from here? 
Yes, I am. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the like this um because the, the, the stereotype is also always like oh you know you go to college and people don't even know why like our our families or our parents don't know why they say go to college i don't know where well i'm yeah. from here and they do the same thing it doesn't okay, i don't so think it yeah. matters where you're from i think it's yeah. just ingrained in every parent because most of them didn't go to college that their kids have to go to college to be right. successful it's just what you saw on tv it's what you see in movies it's like how yeah. they just set the world because they make money off school yeah and i think there used to be a lot more opportunity for people who did go to school mm-hmm. i don't think it's like that anymore i think yeah. there is honestly opportunity for everyone especially just the way things have shifted with social media and you can start a business on instagram yeah. You know, from scratch, um, right out of school. So doing the craziest thing. Yeah. So honestly, I think it really would depend on what, what they wanted to do. Mm-hmm. I don't think college is a necessity anymore. Not that I'm, not that I'm saying I, <laughs> not that she's promoting it. Right. <laughs> right. No, when I grew up, it was absolutely, you're going to call like right. yeah. going to college. Okay. So, no so say. that, so when you grew up, it was, you're definitely, definitely going to college. How is that going to be for, for you guys? Um, with your kids <clears throat> well i mean we'll have to see how things change in the next 18 years who knows how how business yeah. will be mm-hmm. um but it, i'll just support um whatever they want to do of course you know i'll i'll guide but <laughs> we'll see. i feel like it's go to call I, how will, how will you that? be Maybe, huh? what, what parent are you going to be I feel like whatever, you know, depends what they want to do. Yeah. I think. It totally depends on what mm-hmm. they want to do. Yeah. There's no point in going to yeah. college just to get the degree. Just to yeah. go to college. And, then, and switch, just say they switch five to degrees, you know. Right. Like and, degree I mean, that. college is not cheap anymore. Exactly. So. Yeah. Yep. And yeah. that student loan haunts you. Yeah. I have <laughs> those one. student loans. Oh. <laughs> Who has not <laughs> I agree. I, I have to find that clapping uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. sound, but I don't know which one it is. So, <laughs> next question. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I always say that, and um, I always say that about school, and even in the family. Sometimes they they think I'm saying don't 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 learn. Right. And I'm not saying. Oh that. yeah. I'm saying like there's different ways to learn. I actually think you have to keep learning every single day. Absolutely. Um, it, there's just different ways now. Yeah. And, and better ways. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I did most. I don't want to say most of my learning outside of chiropractic school, but we oh, did so, so much online, yeah. so much additional training, additional seminars. Like there's so many ways to learn. So I yeah. agree with you on that. It's mm-hmm. really, yeah, always, always stay learning, but life, life lessons and school and all that. Yeah. You gotta like, move, you have to move with the times, especially now. Yeah. There's YouTube college now. Yeah. <laughs> So, there's actually oh, websites yeah, yeah. that make money because it's just full of videos to learn different things. You could just search and then pay like 50 bucks, 20 bucks and watch like all like hours worth of someone teaching you how to do something they already know how to do. Yeah. And because of platforms, there's a lot more people teaching that, you know, like on YouTube or yeah. or courses online, like she's saying, mm-hmm. um, there is actually more teachers, you know, so which is great because... They're teaching based on experience, not on exactly, not out of a textbook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, you know, to me, I business I learned like nothing in school, and I've learned everything. You know, the goods, the bads, the word, like in business. Yeah, you know, doing it. So um, that's why. I don't have that many like positive things to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, like you said, it's the same thing with uh, what you're studying. You know, you're just yeah. learning the textbook way, but when you're actually practicing it on real people, I'm sure so many other things. Right. Yeah. You're. I mean, you're always learning, really. Yeah. 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 There are certain careers that you have to go, like being a lawyer, a doctor, an right. architect. Like you can't just learn that online. Right. The business yeah. side, maybe yes, when you start doing it. Yep. But to learn and get a degree, you need. Yeah. You do need to go to college. For do, do you have any? Um, do you have any funny story with a patient? Do I have any funny <laughs> stories? <laughs> like, like one of those that you got home and you're like, I, I have to tell you. <laughs> yeah. I have to tell you what happened. <laughs> Well, not really. I, I mean, I Off want to. I know I do, I but I can't think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 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 Oh,
like a funny story. Because <laughs> there, I mean, like in our day, so many things happen. <laughs> like it's crazy. Like you always got come home with with stories like here and there. Right? Yeah, no, true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what What can you share with us about? Um, like uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what you did. <laughs> I want well, pass the mic. <laughs> pass the mic to somebody else. Yeah. What do you think about? <laughs> no. Um. I think it's great. I think it's great that we learn. I've learned a lot about your business. Um, yeah. Now the and industry. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know a lot of things about that industry. Yeah. And I know that you know people. People pretend like yeah, yeah, they know, but it's who. Who would have thought? There were maybe, so many maybe, techniques. Maybe I'm like I know I'm still hung up on that 200. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, for sure. I mean, a lot of people only know in their mind of that, like traditional, yeah. traditional um, chiropractic. So, right. Yeah. Right. There's, um, there's lots of options out there. Yeah, definitely. Is there anything that, you know, we didn't cover that you'd like to talk about a little bit or just anything in general that maybe we didn't go over? All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, if not, it's okay. I'll save you right now. I know. So, like, I want. Yeah. No. I all right. Think let's talk about. You guys are in Naples now. Yes. What are some things that you guys do for fun in Naples? Um, we love to catch sunset. That's our favorite thing to do. How was um, your first sunset? How was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so it's so beautiful here. <laughs> it's it's honestly ridiculous. It's, yeah. It's. Are we people, live in paradise. Are people still clapping? Or no? What? No? <laughs> <laughs> no oh, oh, so okay, I was yeah. like, okay, yes, That's every once in a while we'll get a clap for sure. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Just no, because we've been to other places in Florida, like, you uh -huh. know, to, like on the beach for sunsets. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, I feel like only in, in Naples do people start clapping. <laughs> yes. If you go other oh, places, I've never seen that. But we went yeah. to St. Pete and they clapped. They did? I don't they remember did. seeing anybody clap. They yeah, they did. Well, that the reason why I said that is because when I watched the first episode... It was just Naples, us and two other people. Everybody was like on Vanderbilt Oh, we'll Beach. see. That doesn't yeah. count. That's you. Everybody started clapping. We're from Naples. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, what's going on? Like, you know? There were people. And it was no, Vanderbilt. No, there were people. Like, I don't know if you've been to Vanderbilt Beach, but that's a super busy beach. So, yeah. you guys you guys been there? Yeah. 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 Is that where you go to see the sunset? Um, no, we... So we can go and spy on you? <laughs> <laughs> no, we usually go like on I don't know third, like south or third. Yeah. Um, Horizon is a good one. It's low key. Yeah, we like yeah we yeah, like yeah. to just don't yeah. mention it. There's not too much parking. Yeah. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> Said it. Just joking. That's like and it's an awful place. We don't really like it. It's pretty. Bad. But it, it is re a really nice. Though. It's closed right now, anyway. So <laughs> yeah. Do you um? Do you guys like to like go out at night or? Are you foodies? Like, foodies. Um. I wouldn't categorize us as foodies. We do enjoy um, going out. There's so many great places here. I need. I still have a long ass list that I need to, <laughs> to go. Yeah, I'm sure. Tell I'm, me, tell me the best places, you guys. What type of food? Any any food. Do you guys like Italian? Yeah, yeah. I knew you were going to say. That. I literally like first thought Minos. Mino. Wait, where is that? It's oh on, it's goodness, in like girl. Tin City, like right next to Tin <laughs> City. Like you know where Tin City okay. is? Yes, I do know where Tin City is. Okay, yeah. So, <laughs> it's like so, right outside. Like okay. Right, right behind, I think. That's how you would say it? Oh, yeah. 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 It's, uh, right, it's right between <laughs> Tin City and Fifth. Okay. Yep. Very good. Awesome. Yeah, really good. Add it to the list. Very Talk. good. Mm -hmm. yeah. We should go tonight. You know it's okay. good. Yeah, but look up their Instagram because they always tell you the specials. Oh, That's yeah. where they get you. Oh, it's okay. like a crumble cookie type oh. of thing. They have a new have you been pasta every week. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who hasn't been to What's a place you guys really like in town? Um, let's see. I mean, Del Mar is obviously. Del Mar is really good. Delicious. That place is beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful and yeah. So good. Um, Malto so good. I haven't been to Malto. Yeah. I don't think I've heard of us. Their pizza Malto. is... You like their pizza? Delicious, yeah. Yeah. Also, we love lowbrow pizza. Lowbrow, yeah. Lowbrow is good. Their pizza bones. They're like on fit. <laughs> they're like on... They're not on fit, but they're that on that same road, right? Of fit that. Yeah, they're the opposite way. Um, Malto or, lo or lowbrow? Um, lowbrow. Lowbrow, lowbrow no, is like... It's like... Um, past Bayshore, right? Yep. Yeah, but it's past page four. Just past page four. Yep. Yeah. On 41, yeah. Yeah, which is good. 
I'm sure um, so many so many good places here in Naples. I'm sure Sean is gonna love that you're here because he I, didn't he introduce us to Mike. Yeah, yeah. Sean introduced yeah. us to Mike. Yeah. 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 So. Yep, I am a Black Diamond Club member. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, really? yes. Nice. That's actually how is it me and it? Mike met, you guys. I want really? to we met ask, in guys... Black Diamond Club. Really? Yes, at a, a, Sean, a conference. Sean relationships. <laughs> so, yeah. Sean has us all in groups. Shout what out, more? Sean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sean is great. Yeah. So also, you check know. out Book Yourself Solid. <laughs> 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 are you guys and when you say met um it was that in uh at a like a networking event yeah so black like at a, a black diamond club uh conference it's called conference. it was called summer camp and it was in india indianapolis yeah um yeah that's where we met so you guys traveled because you didn't you, yeah, you so guys traveled to indianapolis for the conference yeah so i was living in washington state he was in wisconsin and we were long distance for two years before oh we moved here. wow yeah. So you guys just clicked? We clicked. It was, I mean, they aw. had to have two years long distance. <laughs> yeah, two years, that's right? commitment, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Um, well, it's awesome that you guys are in Naples because yeah. we're so happy to be here. Yeah, Naples, <laughs> I feel like, is the place to be. It is. <laughs> it is. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's not that cool. Like, yeah. I probably want to leave anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a lot of clips here. I know. <laughs> well, yeah. um, well, we really appreciate your, the time that you taken to be here. Yeah. And um, and. <laughs> All right, let me save you, okay? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yeah, here. Who's in charge here? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know why? Because um, chiropractic uh -huh. is like is actually a not as easy to interview like a chiropractor yeah it's like seriously a you know why complicated because i industry. think that it's almost like a no not almost like it's a doctor yeah so mm -hmm. you know it's it's a different feel than you know somebody that like didn't go the school the the school route just right. decided to open up a business and then right you know i feel like what, i can relate a lot because remember when we i used to go to the chiropractor Every weekend, yeah, for yeah. like, and how was that? Two or three years. Yeah, what was that for? You went to a chiropractor. Yeah, she used yeah, to go. Yeah, when I first moved. This to whole time, I thought you didn't, you didn't know about. It. I know a lot. <laughs> she knows. She knows things. <laughs> the questions. Where were the questions? Yeah. 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 I asked so questions. as you can see, we tried. I didn't to... know that there was. Wait, wait. Why did you go? Why did Why did you end up going? Um, yeah. Headaches. Oh, I headaches. had a lot of headaches mm -hmm. and like. Do you still get pain. those? Yes, but not as much as before. Hmm. She met me. <laughs> this is my name. <laughs> do, you think, do you think that, like, chiropractic, uh, you know, something for, like headaches, mm -hmm. I, I don't feel like the general public thinks I have a headache, I should go to a chiropractor. Do, do you think that it's... Because sometimes that there's it's, something or, or, your yes. neck. I mean, I get clients with headaches all the time. Mm -hmm. That might not be the reason that they came in but um yeah. it's 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 pretty frequent for right. for people with headaches uh seeking chiropractors and getting relief and yeah mm -hmm. what pinpoints I, that like how does like your body and like what you do fix that you know what i mean right so again when when we're looking at the nervous system as a whole, we want to make sure that everything is working properly. A lot of times um, with headaches, you might have um, issues at the, the upper cervical spine. Mm. Um, and so when you get that alignment, that that usually does the trick. <laughs> Joey thought, knows. I, I used to get my... good cracks. <laughs> but it's not about the cracks. That's not always. Another, another <laughs> you know, technique. Both help with headaches. And, yeah. Maybe I went to another technique. Chiropractor. Right. <laughs> it's really like <laughs> literally that's all I keep thinking about. Yeah. When I talked to Mike, I told him I was like, but it's kind of normal, right? To have like your back in stress, in pain all the time. Like and Mike was like, No. 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 He's like, like he's like, Do you think it's normal? And I'm like, <laughs> and he's like, Do you have pain? <laughs> I was like, no, <laughs> like I'm not. I'm not supposed to be like thirty and in yeah. a lot of pain already. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's, that's, no. Well, I feel like I learned a ton, um, and I do want to say thank you so much yes. for taking the time out of your day 
to come and talk to us for a little bit. Um, on that note, is there anything that you want to mention maybe yeah, before just- we sign off? Just thanks for having me. You guys are super chill and super fun to, fun to talk to. So you made this super easy for me, and I'm excited to um, be on the show with you guys. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much you. for your time.